you've probably heard the phrase hidden gem and if you really think about it a gem by its very nature shouldn't be hidden a gem should be out somewhere for all to see for all to appreciate and admire and that's kind of how i feel about the movie that i'm talking about today supermodel a film worth watching it's a movie that i stumbled upon in a sense a friend told me about it and when i watched it on a platform called Showmax, where it is streaming at the moment. I was really, really impressed by what I saw. It is a movie that is a Kenya-Germany co-production, but entirely made up of Kenyan talent. So I'm talking about the director, the talent, all from Kenya, and it is a beauty. It's a movie that was submitted, in fact, by Kenya as its official submission to the 91st Academy Awards, which we all know as the Oscars, and it didn't uh, make the nomination, unfortunately, but it is still a movie that I think everyone should go and watch. It's one of those things where once you watch it, it makes such an impression on you. So let's get into talking about what the story of this movie is about. It's, it's actually a really beautiful story. Um, a little sad, I'll tell you why it's sad a little later, but it's the story of a young girl who is diagnosed with a terminal condition. So her mother makes a decision that she should just go home and live out her last days at home with family rather than in some cold hospital. Uh, where she sees all of her friends dying around her. And when she goes home, her desire and her dream is to be a superhero. That's all she wants. She wants to have superhero powers. And so her loved ones around her decide we're gonna make this dream come true for her. So much of the story is about how they make this dream of Jo, Jo who is the little girl, how they make her dream come true and how she possesses all of these superpowers. Now, there are aspects of the movie that I wouldn't want to spoil by getting getting into too much detail, but suffice to say that this is a story of community. It's a story about how a community comes together to make one of its own happy. I quite like that about the movie. It's also the story of resilience within a family, but ultimately also the story of how death, even though it is a painful and um, very final thing, I think to many of us, there is some beauty in it. It is an, a topic, I think, that is sensitive to many of us, but in this movie it is handled with such care by the director. The cast is uh, headlined by Stacy Waweru, who plays the part of Jo, fantastic performance by that little girl. Uh, she is supported by Mary Ann Nungo, and she plays the part of Catherine, who is Jo's mother. Nyawara Ndambia plays the part of Mwix, Jo's sister, and that really is the main cast. The movie is directed by Likarion Wainaina, who is a Kenyan director. He He's been in the game for a while now. And when I was reading his director's notes about the motivation behind making the film and his own thoughts about the film, I was very moved uh, by his compassion, particularly about these children in wards where they are living with these terminal conditions. And he definitely, you know, just by the way that the movie is stripped down of all of the bells and whistles and how there is such a focus on crafting a beautiful story, I'm impressed by just how he was able to create a gem of this quality. So if you are in a region where you have access to Showmax, I would really encourage you to watch this film because it's a film, it's one of those films that I strongly feel should be watched by as many people as possible because that's often the limitation distribution and I hope this movie can go past all of the distribution hurdles and obstacles. And so that is my recommendation, Supermodo, a film worth watching, a movie that will most certainly bring you to tears if you're anything like me. But from me here on The Real Source, thank you so much for watching. Remember, we do have a handle on Twitter. We would really love for you to follow. This is where all of the post video conversations happen and all of my passion for film and TV comes through even when I'm not on this channel. So at Real Source, would love for you to follow us there. But from me, Tafadzwa, thank you so much for watching The Real Source. Take care. Yeah.